With so many cameras pointed at the president, it can be hard to capture something different. Rules must be binding. So this is how you normally see President Obama. We call this a head-on shot, and it's the standard angle we use when he's giving a speech. Spread of these weapons. When Obama spoke in Prague over the weekend, a large riser was jam-packed, with cameras from all over the world, all trying to get the same head-on shot. Ideally, I'd like to have something different, but like the huge crowd that packed this square, our movements are restricted by the Secret Service. Fortunately, there is another option. So I'm standing on what's called the Cuts Riser, and it's basically just another position where people can take pictures and video of the president who's going to be speaking there on that podium. The Cuts Riser. It can be a video journalist's best friend. It's called Cuts because we use it to get cutaways, which are shots away from the main action, like these of the crowd, that we use to illustrate our stories. You can see a lot of interesting stuff from this angle, stuff you don't often get to see. For instance, before Obama's arrival, I caught a staffer carefully placing a glass of water for him should his throat get dry during his speech. Using the cuts riser is also really the only way to get good shots of the crowd. In this case, more than 20,000 packed a city square to see Obama, and the crowd was a big part of the story. I was able to show the size of the crowd and their enthusiasm for the U.S. president. When Obama finally took the stage, I had a great angle for a nice long shot of him and the First Lady getting a warm welcome from the people of Prague. So I hope this view of President Obama's speech from the Cuts Riser gave you an appreciation of how we could sometimes get some different angles of the president that you might not always see on TV. I'm Jason Bronis, the Associated Press, Prague, Czech Republic.